Hey guys, today we talk about an interesting topic, and this is how offended people at Wizard of Coast are of basic, non-threatening statements, in my opinion. So, Boogie2988, you can watch this video on Unsleeved Media. I think he does a fair job representing Boogie's side. He showed up on HFree, which is another U large YouTube channel, to discuss his vision or where he sees same gender marriages. Um, and he was mentioning that it might take 20 years to change the hearts and minds. This did not go so well with said Wizards of the Coast employee who later would, they would later ban Boogie2998 who does care about magic. One of his most famous videos is him playing magic and flipping the table. Now, Boogie is very left, uh, very liberal, and I don't, I personally don't see what the big deal of his statements are. Uh, I understand how it can be construed negatively, but he has a good heart, he has a good reputation in the community, and he's not the boogeyman, right? So here we have Ali Medwin, who works for Magic Online. I don't know how long you will have your job, Ali. If Magic Arena goes well, maybe you transition, maybe you don't. But um, she is responding to Boogie. Ah, yes, I see that's, that works. You say that this wedding I'm planning with the love of my life shouldn't have been allowed to happen for 20 more years and then get upset. I think you misunderstand he's questioning the way leftist people are responding to what he said by saying that they want him dead or whatever there's a way of disagreeing with someone without being absolutely horrible about it the irony of your explaining to me what i have done in the very tweet you're replying to may be lost on you there's a way of disagreeing indeed so I did a little bit more digging on this particular profile and everyone has skeletons. I have skeletons. Everyone has skeletons. And it is very fascinating what you can learn about someone from their Twitter. Uh, we live in a generation where people just say whatever they feel like online and there's no cap. Like it used to be if you said something in person to someone, it would be very contained. It would be, I'm saying it to you, Boogie. And that's it conversation over no one recorded it we don't have a record of what was said now it is he said she said but now everyone's getting on twitter and just saying like things that 10 15 years ago would would not be said especially in such a public forum so you forget the rest of the quote where he said to not be horrible about it. The way the left disagrees with people does not help their position. In many cases, it pushes people away. I see. So you believe that my response was horrible. Please let me know what tone I need to use instead to satisfy your needs. So very abrasive. Uh, this is the same thing we saw with Tiwu and Emma. Uh, Emma infiltrated a private Facebook group and Tiwu did not comment on it. He didn't like it. He didn't like any of the comments. And she wanted to drag the biggest name out, and out he went. Screenshots went, happened. And this is kind of what it is. If you think you're safe, Boogie's very left, in my opinion. If you think you're safe in the magic community, you're not. I, I, I could mention a few other examples, but I don't want to solely their names because I have okay relationships with them. But this happens all the time, is... Yup, 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 yup. Like you talk, 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 and then they take something completely out of context, and then now they're just attacking you. And the more you try to please them, the more they're gonna attack you. So um, let's talk about this. Uh, not just artists. I found that kindness and respect are up there with good work ethic when it comes to a career. Unless you either work completely alone or you actively want to support yourself with sociopaths, being why does how sociopaths like why is this so extreme like why is the language always so extreme here like i i don't it's it's very inflammatory language and it doesn't need to be that way just have a like reasonable discussion like it's the same thing with online with people having very big barks and very little teeth in person what is happening here with our community like 
Do you know this? these are the people running Magic the Gathering right now? They don't care about fans. They constantly attack and are very abrasive. Customer service like 20 years ago was happy people to see you. Now, don't buy my blood game product, you white male. Get out of here, white male. Like It's so insane, some of the things that were being said by their main accounts. I know that people think that by having that line, oh, I work for Wizards of the Coast, but my opinions are my opinions alone. And now I'm going to say some crazy stuff that somehow that, that by saying that they don't work at Wizards of the Coast, but tagging Wizards of the Coast and getting your verification because you work at Wizards of the Coast, now you're going to say some crazy stuff. And that's not going to affect Wizards of the Coast's brand. The brand image is very poor right now. I've never seen it so poor since I played since beta. I hate when people who don't play Magic and have no interest in Magic because not a single time does she tweet about Magic the Gathering on her private Twitter. This thread is great, as ever. I encourage my fellow white folks to listen to black folks when they talk about issues important to them. Okay, this is not too bad, but let's see how fast this uh, becomes attacking white folks. As a very pale Jewish woman, I'm basically white for casual purposes. Oh, I, I didn't know you could be white or black or Asian for casual purposes. It seems kind of strange. But the people who value white wouldn't say I'm one of them. Not that I want their approval. F, like the language, I mean, this is customer service. Uh, you're representing a huge multi-billion dollar company. And no matter how many times you say that you don't represent them, you clearly do because you got boogie banned or blacklisted. This is just hor This is an example of like normally a person who's doing this at a company is going to be let go because they're representing a company in a very aggressive, non-friendly way. Hashtag Wakanda forever. <laughs> My, okay, you are a white female. That you can't be a casual white female. There's no such thing as I think a casual white female. You grew up with certain things that other people may not have that you recognize. Oh my gosh. Like if I was a white male, they would just throw this video in the trash, right? They would just be like, oh, white males talking about white males. But I'm not a white male. I face discrimination. Um, Asian males are, I'll put it this way. If you're an Asian male and you go in a dating scene, it is very difficult. Uh, it is incredibly difficult. Uh, you have to be better. You have to, I don't want to say make more money, but I think for me personally, maybe that's that's what it is. I'm sure people are going to take this out of context, right? But uh, money gives you job security. It gives you a nice home. It gives you a nice car. It does give you things that people would want in a significant other. Now, it's not the only factor. I'm not going to get into this um, rabbit hole, Alice in Wonderland rabbit hole. But my point being, these people run our game. These people who actively hate white males run our game. I am not a white male, right? So I'm looking at this from a perspective of like, what is going on here? Like, this is the main demographic. This is your main source of funding. Boogie is your ideal customer. Buggy can reach your ideal customers. That's why in the past you sponsored him to make videos. A.E. Marling, also a person who's a very big fan of that um, line. Not My personal opinions are not um, representative of Magic the Gathering. Yet I'm going to post Magic the Gathering hashtags all over the place and tag them. So everyone knows I work for Magic the Gathering. Like... Guys, this is who's running the company, and they have the most popular card game in existence. A lot of you might be like, oh, well, Magic's been doing good, 25-year anniversary, it's growing, yada, yada. It could have been more. It could have been Hearthstone. It had a huge advantage over Hearthstone, but instead of focusing on making good code, 
making good programs, getting legit developers, not fake developers like they currently have. Their developers suck at Magic Online. There's no other way for me to put it. They could get a team in India and do a better job. Like, I'm going to point blank say that. So, um, I'll end by restating that I am hashtag Wizard Coast staff, though I worked on D&D Little Zero in my near... What? I won't predict what they think on the issue other than to say I would be well beyond shocked if this was something they casually dismissed. She's speaking on behalf of Wizards of the Coast. This is a direct statement saying that I am Wizards of the Coast staff. And this is my personal opinions about this. People have customer service from Wizards of the Coast has been horrific. It used to be we got memory jars and we could send them in a mail and then they would send us a new pack and that would be really cool. And customers would be really nice. I'm not customer. They would be very nice to us. Now they treat us like we are lesser beings because we don't work at Wizards of the Coast. But these people, they're not what made the card game special. The card game was made by a guy named Richard Garfield, a nerd, a king of nerds. Some would say the saber of nerds. And it's a bunch of dudes. It's a bunch of dudes who made this game. I have no word. They attacked one of the most liberal people. They will eat their own. Just like, you know, on YouTube. When you have a snake. Actually, when I made that uh, video about the snakes, Donald Trump um, talked about snakes before for immigration. I, I'm very pro-immigration. And I, I do what I can to help. I, I used to be an immigration attorney. I used to work for CARE in Virginia, which is a deportation facility. And I still do work there. I, not at CARE, but I still work in that t type of field. I volunteer 100% non-charged, not that they could afford it anyway, but um, and I do cases in Mandarin. So I don't agree with that, but you know, he talks about the uh, story about the snake. A snake will always be a snake. Um, I truly believe that. I always, I tell the story about my, the bu my bully in high school and middle school and how he contacted me after I sold my first company. And he wanted advice, he wanted help. And I know what he wanted because now he works for an Asian company in Canada. He wanted me to give him a recommendation. I didn't. And you might say, oh, you're not the bigger man. You should have helped him. You don't want to encourage this type of behavior because if there's no consequences for your actions and you can bully whoever you want and then those people who are being bullied are going to help you after they become successful or more successful than you are, then you're going to encourage your children to bully too because you got what you wanted. <laughs> anyway, bye.